Hi everybody, this is Stefan from Liquid Mollis R&D in Germany and today I'm here in Connecticut with the guys from FCP Euro to talk about a little bit about our Liquid Moly Additives line to give you guys information how to use and when to use this product. So talking about Liquid Moly's additive line which is available here in North America First of all, when you look on our additive line, you will see a difference in the labeling and on the color of the bottles. On the black labeled bottles, this is called our Liquid Moly Pro line, professional line. This is mainly developed for the use in the workshop as a part of the regular service uh, by the mechanic. While the silver line is for end consumers for regular use and preventive maintenance. So that's the main difference. Another thing you may realize when you look on our bottles, they have, the caps have different colors. Every product you see that comes with a black cap, like our engine flush, is developed to be added into the motor oil. Every cap that comes with a blue cap is to be added into the gasoline fuel tank. And every bottle that comes with a red cap is to be made for diesel to be added into the diesel fuel tank. If it comes with a white cap, that's something to be added into the coolant of your car. Focusing first on our ProLine products. This is our ProLine engine flush, which is a highly concentrated cleaning product, which should be added directly before you drain the used oil. So add this to the used oil when the car is already on operating temperature. Once added to the used motor oil, simply idle the car for 10 to 15 minutes. No rough up, no load, no need to drive around. After this 10 to 15 minutes application time, simply switch off the engine, open the train block and drain out the oil. That thing will liquefy deposits and will help your engine to perform as good as possible without having deposits at the piston ring zone, at hydraulic actuated systems like the Vanog or VTEC system, and also it helps the turbocharger to operate as long as possible without having narrowing in the supply lines to the turbocharger. The next thing is our ProLine gasoline system cleaner. Add it to the gas tank at the yearly inspection will clean up the entire fuel system from any kind of deposits that are disturbing. This is a strong concentrated cleaning action, so that is for shop use as preventive maintenance or in case you have misfiring, rough idling or phrasing problems with the MOT emission test. Same thing for the ProLine diesel system cleaner. It has the same strong cleaning properties as the ProLine gasoline system cleaner, but specifically developed for added into the diesel tank of vehicles. Don't use the Impuro. They all have to be mixed with a minimum of seven gallons required fuel, and they go up to, up to 18 to 20 gallons of fuel. So these products work by application time. We recommend to add them and then drive your car without refueling until the light reminds you to do. That gives the product the longest possible application time because cleaning needs time. So these are the ProLine products. And then we come to regular use and regular maintenance. First of all, our check drone. It is a, needs to be also added into the gas tank to the car, but as a regular maintenance, every roughly 1200 miles, that means depending on your vehicle, every third or fourth time you refuel your car. That thing is a combination of a cleaner, an anti-corrosion agent, a lubricity improver, and it builds up a protective layer that, for example, on the back side of your intake valve, that layer lasts up to 1200 miles. So this one is regular use, keep clean and protect the gas system of your engine. Same thing on the super diesel additive. It has exactly the same properties as the Tractron, but for diesel engine. Additionally, this thing has a positive effect to the c -ton value of the diesel fuel, so it increases the c -ton value of the fuel, which makes your car um, run more smooth and burn with less pollutions. Especially in North America, where the diesel fuel is not on quality level as we have in Central Europe, this one is highly recommended for all your diesel-fired European vehicles. Another two ones with a blue cap, that means that is for gasoline fuel, is our valve clean. Valve clean is specifically developed for the typical carbon deposits on the back side of the intake valves. Um, 
This one works only on non-direct fuel injection engines because on a direct fuel injection engine the fuel does not pass any more intake valves, but ideally suited for use in older non-directed fuel injection gasoline engines. Next product, our Speedtech. It has not an effect to the octane value of the, of the fuel, but it optimizes the fuel atomization, makes it into even smaller droplets, so there is more surface on the fuel for the oxygen available, so your performance snap, the throttle response, is much better and as a positive side effect, especially in modern engines, there is less unburned fuel left in the combustion chamber after the burning process, so that helps also your engine or the combustion chamber to stay cleaner and it protects already your oil a, bit, a little bit because if there is less unburned fuel passing the piston ring, the oil stays stronger longer. So talking about our additives with the black cap, starting with our most common additive, the Ceratec. Ceratec is an anti-friction and anti-wear agent added, um, developed mainly for modern engines, even turbocharged engines, and especially in Europe for these engines which have an extended oil service interval, which sometimes go up to 30,000 miles without an oil change. So Ceratec works with two active ingredients. One of them is a chemical additive that needs a little bit of heat and pressure, and then it uh, forms an additional protective layer on the surfaces. It, it hardens the metal surfaces. And that chemical protection lasts up to 30,000 miles. So, and that one will prevent your engine of having excessive wear and tear. The fancy color of Ceratic is coming from the second ingredient, which is ceramic compound. So these ceramic particles are solid particles. Um, once you add ceratic into your motor oil, these solid particles are on top of the surface, mainly made for friction uh, uh, modifying, reducing friction, uh, and they work immediately. When you change your oil after five, six, seven, eight thousand miles, you always drain the solid agent, but the chemical agent lasts up to 30,000 miles as mentioned. So you can use Ceratec at each oil change, or you can alternate with another product that we'll talk about later to bring back always the benefits of the solid agent again. Um, don't forget to shake this bottle well before use and then just pour it into your engine. And don't forget, do not add too much uh, additives inside, so you have to avoid filling it over the maximum. My personal recommendation, if you do an oil change and your car holds less than five uh, quarts of oil, just add in the additive before and then top up with motor oil. Or you can also use these additives and add them in our liquid moly five liter canisters, shake the can well, and then you have a premix, whatever you prefer. So the second additive I mentioned already is our MOS2 anti-friction engine treatment. Actually, that was the first product that Molly produced uh, when the company was founded in 1957. It works without a chemical agent that makes it perfectly suited for the use in older engines. Older engines from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, even to early 2000s. It works with molybdenum disulfide, that is MOS2, which is also a solid agent. So again, you add it to the motor oil and it works immediately because it's always on top of the surface and it reduces the friction value and it's extremely pressure and heat resistant. So this one, again, when you change the oil after whatever, how, how many thousand miles, you will also train out the MOS2 particles. So this one, you have to add at every time after each oil change and you can use MOS2 to alternate with Ceratec. So if you have a car that has an extended oil service life or you change your oil frequently, use Ceratec and then alternate oil change number two and three, do with MOS2, bring back the solid particles to reduce the friction and oil change number four bring also back the chemical again so you can alternate with these two products a little bit do not use them both at the same time this will be too much additives which bring, can turn into a negative when you bring the additive formulation of the motor oil out of balance the next thing we have here is our motor oil saver as the name says if you have a leakage under your car that means oil is leaving your engine uh, through, for example, some hardened, dried out rubber seal. This thing added to the motor oil will rejuvenate hardened, dried out rubber seals. It reswells rubber materials. This process also takes, depending on the engine design, three to 500 miles. And we recommend to add this as a preventive maintenance to avoid having oil spots under your car or oil consumption due to uh, shrunken valve stem seals. Um, or 
Um, as mentioned, as a problem solver engine, before taking apart the engine. One bottle or one treatment we recommend to do every 20,000 miles or every two years. Um, not more often because we have to avoid of an overswelling of the sealants. Next thing here is our Visco Plus for oil. That is an ideal product for the top-up use. Um, if you have a higher mileage engine, so your clearances are a little bit wider because of existing wear, this one stabilizes the hot temperature viscosity of motor oil, so the oil film stays a little bit more stable. That optimizes the oil consumption at older engines, ideally for use and top-up use. This product, our hydraulic lifter additive, as the name says, helps if you have an unnormal loud tepid noise in the hydraulic lifter chambers. This one makes the oil stay longer inside the chamber lifters, so it reduces noise caused by wear already of the uh, hydraulic uh, lifters. So that's also ideal suitable for higher mileage, higher mileage engines for top up use. Coming to our coolant additives, we have here our radiator cleaner. Same thing as we learned about the engine flush. When you train your coolant, why don't you use a cleaner before to liquefy all the deposits in the coolant system, uh, like lime or whatever. Add this to the coolant, let the engine idle only for 25 to 30 minutes. Make sure you put the heat to the maximum because we, have to, we want to open the thermostat to have this one available in the whole cooling cycle. After this, switch off the engine, train the coolant and flush with clear water. Then, ideally, you select the right coolant for your car, the right antifreeze, and add our radiator stop leak into this. Radiator stop leak is a special development uh, that works with pressure uh, difference between inside the coolant system and the atmosphere pressure outside. It has no agents inside that react with oxygen, so it can never harden, it can never clog any coolant supply lines or whatever. That thing again works only with pressure different. As, as soon as you have a stone hit or a, on a older cars or rust with a welding, um, that thing finds the leakage because there is a pressure difference and stops the leakage. It works endless. If you add this today in a brand new car and you don't drain your coolant the next 10 years, it will be even working in 10 years. As long as it's in the coolant, it works. So make sure that each product you purchase comes with two caps. One of this is the outside cap, that is a child safety cap. And inside there is a temper seal. Um, only if every single product comes with two taps, it's originally packed and filled in Germany. So these are our additive lines. Um, every product has a description on the back side, which gives you another quick information about how to use it and the minimum required oil or fuel that is in the tank. So please read the operating instructions before you use these products. So if you guys have any more questions about our Liquid Molly additive product line, don't hesitate. Ask guys from FCP Euro or leave a comment below that video. Last additive for the day I want to talk about a little bit is our uh, personality additive, which especially Germans need a lot of this. So, Prost, have the Hefeweissbier. Good. <laughs> <laughs>